Plus Desert Rescue, the 11-year-old boy trapped deep in a rock crevice. Hello, and first, a row over computer games. Britain's best games players have been flexing their fingers today to become national computer games champion. But what effect can game playing have on children? Here's David with more. It can drive parents mad. Children locked away for hours in their bedrooms playing computer games. But some doctors and even sports stars are worried about the effect the games can have on players. I went along to today's blockbuster PlayStation tournament to find out more. Three, two, one. Forget relaxing fun. This is fast, furious and very competitive. This computer-mad bunch have made it to the final by competing on the Rage Racer game. But today the game is new and unreleased. It's Crash Bandicoot 2. Computer games are as popular as ever, but experts are divided about the effect they have on children. Dr. Mark Brosnan says that playing computer games can help children learn. Computer games can be good for children. They develop mental ability. So if children are playing with fast action games, they can develop their hand-eye coordination as well as their mental ability more than perhaps word games could, for example. But that's not the whole story because some experts are worried that playing computer games for long periods of time can cause headaches, backache, and of course whilst you're playing this, then you're not doing any other exercise, which in the long term can be damaging. But even certain sportsmen and women are worried about computer games affecting their performance. In March, the Liverpool goalkeeper David James let in three goals against Newcastle United. He blamed his lack of concentration on playing too many computer games. He's not the only one to think that. The athletes Darren Campbell and Jamie Bolsh explained their problem. We tend not to play uh, too much the night before a race because uh, it can knock off a bit of your concentration and your competitive edge. But back at the competition, the children had their own ideas. I think computer games are good for you because they help you relax and um, improve your coordination. I think they're good because it's like you can relax in them, you can it pass its time, so it helps to do eye coordination and things like that. But then it's like sometimes it's bad because you'll get addicted to it and then you'll spend loads of money on it and you'll annoy your schoolwork and that'll be it. But whilst the argument continues, after two hours of nail-biting competition, 14-year-old Aaron Knoll was convinced they're a good thing. He was declared the winner. An amazing rescue operation has saved the life...